Hello and welcome back to NSU's Joe Eccles Hall. 89-85 is your final score here. Today, the Spartans will improve down to 5-4 and four overall. 1-1 one one in conference play after losing last night, uh, 80 excuse me, 78-74. Nice win here tonight, 89-85 after trailing by as many as 12 in the second half. Yeah, I mean, once again, I mean, you know, I know we got some resilience. So that, that's not the issue, <laughs> you know. It's the... Sometimes the, the, the lack of focus and stretches that sometimes now forces us to use that resilience. Um, you know, when we got down 12, we stopped playing defense. We stopped sharing the ball that we were doing when we were up 12. Also, it, it didn't help that Devontae Carter um, was on the bench for most of the game due to foul trouble. When he got back in the game, you know, honestly, the whole pace of the game changed. Mm -hmm. You know, we were able to get a rebound. We were able to push, and, and, you know, he got out and ran and things like that. Um, you know, he needs to be on the floor for us. You know, we might not need him to play 35, 60, you know, 40 minutes, but we definitely need him to get high 20s. I'm not quite sure. I, I, I doubt if he got that tonight. So, because um, he was on the bench. For 19, he had 19. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, that changes the whole pace of the game for us. Um, I don't like the way we finished. Per, per, well, I don't like the last 20 seconds of the way we finished because we were finishing okay. The, the, we, you know, we got a good press break off a draw up with JJ got a, a dunk down there, and then you know a couple other things we happen for us. But when you know not stepping to the basketball, you know understanding that's the key point. You know that when a team is pressuring, um, you know I can't say almost cost us the game, but it almost made it even a little stickier than what it what it was. So I'm not happy about that. And so now we got to keep going to talk about going to the drawing board. Um, you know this week we don't have a lot of days off because we do play North Carolina Wesleyan. Um, hopefully, you know, we can get out to a good start and some guys who don't play that much can get a chance to play so they get some experience so we can use them um, down the stretch. Um, but if it's a dog fight, then we're going to play our regular, you know, our regular guys, you know. Um, but, you know, it's good to get out of here with a win. It's good to talk about a win unlike a loss. You know, you want to split the weekend. We know that Morgan's a great team. Um, so to split with them is, is, is a good thing. I think one thing that we can look at tonight, uh, tonight, and I think was really, really key for us, especially in the second half, is the play of our post not named J.J. Matthews. Uh, I think – uh, C. Ford came in uh, offensively, played well, uh, changed some shots at the rim, and and Nye came in, and that, I think that's what you want from Nye. Be productive in the minutes that you're in. Yeah, I mean, you know, Nye is a good player. He's in a log jam, you know what I mean? Because he's not really a four man, even though he has a four man size. So you got a guy like Kashawn, who you know, obviously, you know, is probably the best four man we have, and then you got a guy like Tyrese who can, who can play the four. Um, so and they're both his size, you know, and but they could do more things, four things. And then as far as the center, you know, you got JJ who's obviously a, a force down there, and then you got Chris Ford who was playing a lot better. So Nas kind of caught in between, you know, some games he's gonna get a lot of minutes, some games he's not gonna get minutes depending on the game. And um, today he, he stepped in, and he played, he played well for us. I think one thing you were gonna say is Troy Baxter again. The games he plays well, they win. Or when he's that leading scorer, they win. When he's not, they don't. Yeah. Uh, he he was he was held in check today. He hit that three down. Yeah. Then to make it 15, uh, Torian Ware, uh, you can give give him credit where credit's due. He made shots open. He made contested shots. He had 30 tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're close. You're close. But uh, again, <laughs> the, the day the day that he had, we did a good job on a better job on uh, Baxter today. Yeah, without question, we did a better job. I mean, we knew we had to eliminate him. Um, we, did, we didn't want Detorian Ware to get 30, but that's an, another story for another day. Um, I guess a couple weeks from now when we play them again. Yeah. Uh, for us, uh, again, the play that we had in the second half, especially scoring the basketball, Devontae had all 12 of his in the second half. Joe, who normally a great free throw shooter, struggled at the free throw line down the stretch. And Jalen Hawkins, um, maybe just let him play the second half, and we'll see, we'll see what happened. He had another uh, 13 in the second half tonight. Uh, those guys paced us along with J.J., who had 21. Uh, see, I didn't, I didn't know any of those stats. I mean, obviously, with that new system with the computer thing, I mean, I don't know. Was, I just know we won 89-84. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that's the main thing that I'm looking at. But, um, I mean, those guys, what you said, you know, played great individually. Um, we needed all those points, especially J.J. You know, we just got to get J.J. to give us a little bit more effort on defensive end. Now, I will say, at the end of the game, he played his best defensive effort that he's probably played all season when he switched on the ball screen and guarded that guy for a block. That was a great play but we, we need more out of him defensively and you know offensively we, I'm not really worried about what he's going to do offensively yeah and also I, I think if you look at that last possession it was great defense team defense as well uh, yeah. you, you saw they were trying to get a, uh, uh, the ball to Baxter yeah K, K did a great job of denying him the basketball yeah. everybody else played solid defense and you, again you have to credit uh, JJ staying in front uh, mm -hmm. and also 
not fouling there as he went up for the block and uh, again making some plays down the stretch so again coach North Carolina Wesleyan on Wednesday uh just just to get some more time under our belt we need it yeah we need it and we, uh, we need some more practice yeah you know, I'm not saying North Carolina Wesleyan's practice but you know we need some more we need some more game experience you need 40 minutes yeah you, we you, do. you need that 40 that, minutes so, uh, before we get on the road next weekend so congratulations and we know we knew what this was going to be hard we talked about it before the uh before the game started we we handled business here today yeah we know Morgan's like you know they're probably one of the best teams if not the best team top to bottom in the league you know, so therefore we need, you know, we, we to split with them is a great thing. All right. You know, see what's on the radio, man? We on the radio, brother. <laughs> no, yeah, it's not, brother we I guess it's, it's, time to, I guess it's oh. time to go. All right. <laughs> so thank you, Coach Jones, uh, for the time. Final score, 89-85, Norfolk State uh, knocks off Morgan State here to improve to 5-4 five and four overall in conference, uh, overall 1-1 uh, one one in conference play. For Coach Jones, I'm Ross Gordon. We'll see you on Wednesday night as the Spartans host North Carolina Wesleyan. Now, thank you for listening here today and watching NSU basketball right here on the NSU Sports Network.